Good morning, you guys. It is um, probably like 7 o'clock right now, 6.52, and me and Tax are just hanging out downstairs. He slept really good last night, night two of no pacifier, or two and a half, I would say, because the first night I put it in his mouth at like 4.30 because he woke up, and he seemed like his teeth were bothering him, so I did give it to him. And then the next night, I didn't give it to him at all, and he did wake up at 4.30, but I kind of just patted him when I went in and said, time for night night, and he went right back to sleep. And today, he woke up at 5.30, I went in, patted him, and he slept until like 6, 6 o'clock probably. So that was really, really good. He's getting, um, he doesn't seem to need it, especially to be soothed back to sleep. Like, he's able to put himself back to sleep. And then at like the time when he woke up, like 5 30, 6 o'clock, is like his normal like wake up time for when I go back to work. I found the P.O. Box key. It was in my lunchbox that I actually like take to the beach sometimes. It was in there. So, yay, I found it. And Paxton's just, oh my goodness. He's watching Rob. He, Rob's outside weed whacking. Paxton's having oatmeal for breakfast and I put peanut butter in it. So, he is loving it. That is a yummy treat, huh? Is that good with the peanut butter? Paxton wants to feed himself. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good boy. Yep, this is how this kid is eating oatmeal. Really? Oh my gosh. He does not like to be fed. He likes to do it all by himself. I mean, he'll let me feed him yogurt, which is weird, but oatmeal, he'll always rather, rather feed himself. And you need to be using your spoon, mister. Use your spoon, look. I know you're so little, but look, you gotta try. Oh, good. See? I need to get a little shorter spoons, because those are kind of hard for him to handle himself. I'm going to go run to the store real quick. I have to run to the grocery store because we need turkey and bread and mayo because my cousins are from Missouri are coming over after lunch because they went dress shopping because my cousin is getting married. So they went wedding dress shopping. So once they're done, they're gonna come over and we're just having like sandwiches and stuff. So I'm gonna go to ShopRite, get that, get Paxson's bread and everything and then stop at the P.O. Box because I found the key and check to see if the package that someone sent me was sent Paxton came. I just got back from the P.O. Box and I'm gonna have Rob and Paxton open um, Paxton's thing that was sent to him. Come here! Who do you think it is? Ready? One, two. Gonna be in heaven. All right, I'm gonna read the card. It's Snoopy. Okay. That's it. Wow, that's cool. Hi, Devin, Robin, Paxton. I hope you. I hope Paxton enjoys these trucks just as much as my daughter did. I love watching your vlog and seeing Pax grow. I hope you enjoy the rest of your summer. Carrie and Sophie. That was so nice, Carrie. Thank you so much. These were both of these were Carrie's daughters, and she absolutely loved them. And she didn't just want to get rid of them, so she wanted to give them to someone who would really yeah. love them and enjoy them. And who better than Paxton, right? Oh, they both talk! He's trying to go. Oh my gosh, look at that one. <laughs> Do you like that? Say thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I forgot what these, she said these were called. Chuck. Chalk the chalk or something like that. I'm hiding from Paxton. <laughs> Paxton's trying to go in his shed again. Paxton's one eye tooth um, broke through, so it's coming down like like any day. Like, well, it's starting to come down. 
and the one tooth looks like it's about to break any day. With Maddie, you have to be careful because she loves to roll around in little dead things. Like if she finds a dead frog or something like that, like dead snake, she'll roll around her, like her, she'll flip onto her back and roll around all in it and smell disgusting. Leave a comment down below if anyone else's dog loves to roll around in dead things. What are you doing? He's a climber. Careful. Good job. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that one, you guys. And that one. And that one. Why are they all over? I don't know. They probably... That is ginormous. Yeah. Me and Devin have been talking about building a fire pit in our backyard for a while. And I thought it would be pretty cool if we could somehow find tonight material on Craigslist to do this for pretty cheap. I'm thinking under $50 if we can do it. Yeah, right. ah, well, that's part of it. Let's see. I'm looking on Craigslist in the materials section. And I'm looking for decent sized. Careful, Paxton. Let's see. I'm looking for decent sized stones. Okay, yeah, grab mommy's leg. Here you go. <laughs> if I find something, I will let you know. Pax is eating um, peas and raviolis, and Bob is still on the search for <laughs> the fire pit. We found free bricks. So that's even better than $50. Free. And there's a lot of them, and it was posted a day ago. So call them and make sure they're still available, because if they are, then we're gonna go get them. We're gonna make a fire pit. We're gonna make a fire pit. Oh man, but we don't have enough wood. <laughs> no, that's a joke. Yeah. So Rob got in touch with the guy, and that has the bricks, and he's away. He's in Florida for <laughs> until tomorrow night. So we're not gonna be able to get the ones that we thought we would be able to. <laughs> Even trying to eat the bowl. <laughs> Right? Were you trying to eat the bowl? Look how many you are. Me and Rob were just talking about, we think it's official to say bye-bye Binky. He hasn't had it since two days ago. So I guess we're just not going to give it back. And he doesn't seem to even care. And I wanted it to be that way. Like I wanted to do it now while he was still real little before he really could ask for it and stuff. So bye-bye Binky. He's like, I don't even know what you people are talking about. I'm just worried about food. Paxton is eating a cone with nothing in it. <gasps> Yummy! Is it so good? And I'm having a